So it's not new that Sanders and Warren would be battling for the progressive vote, but it is new that we see a move from Warren. So let's bring in Harry Enton to help us. Before we get into the numbers there, because that matters, this Biden thing, sure. all right, it was interesting to me to hear Bernie Sanders say, no, you know what, I'm not giving him a pass on it. He shouldn't have talked about those guys that way. He should still apologize. How big a deal is Biden's processing of his past? Well, I, I, look, we have seen a lot of attacks over Joe Biden's past, and it hasn't moved the polling numbers. But what a lot of these Democratic candidates are seeing is that Joe Biden is dominating among African-American voters. And they want to take any bit of that pie that they possibly can. Now, obviously, they've brought up past votes with Joe Biden in terms of busing that really have not moved the poll numbers at all. But perhaps this one, this current statement that he just made, they're hoping that that might be able to eat into that support. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that it necessarily will, because Joe Biden's been dominating among African-American voters. He's also been dominating among older voters, who, in fact, may remember James Eastland as a senator from Mississippi. So I'm a little hesitant to say that anything will move the numbers. But this, to me, is a level above. So I'm actually interested to see what occurs. Mm -hmm. And we'll know soon enough, because there's will. so much polling going on. Yeah. So Warren is making a move up the charts uh, is it fair to say she's taking a bite out of Sanders' apple? Yeah, so, so take a look at this. This is a Monmouth University poll, um, and they have a June, a May, and an April. And take a look at this. So in June, what we see is that Warren is actually slightly ahead of Bernie Sanders at 15% to 14%. But look at the movement from Warren. She went from 6 in April, 10 in May, 15 in June. Look at the trend line for Bernie. 20 in April, 15 in May, 14 in June. So what we see there is that as Elizabeth Warren's going up, Bernie Sanders seems to be falling down. Why? Why? Well, let's take a look here. This is a key thing. So we've broken this down by liberal Democrats and moderate conservatives, and we compare June to May. And what do we see here? We see Elizabeth Warren jumped up from 14% in May to 25% in June, but then take a look at the moderate to conservative lane. She hasn't moved at all. In fact, she moved a point down. Mm. So what she is doing is she is now starting to take the lead among liberal Democrats, at least according to Monmouth University, and that's the lane that she's dominating right now. How much of it is about Monmouth versus, say, Suffolk? Poll. Yeah, Didn't so, he have better numbers for so, Bernie in that one? Right. So in the Suffolk University poll, which really doesn't have a trend line, Bernie Sanders was at the same 15 percent. Elizabeth Warren was at 10 percent. Now, depending on the polls, you might find Bernie Sanders a little bit ahead of Elizabeth Warren or Warren a little bit ahead of Sanders. But there's no doubt looking at the aggregate of polls, what you see is that Warren has risen from the mid-single digits back in March to now the mid-double digits now in June, while Bernie Sanders went from the low 20s down to the mid-double digits. And you see Joe's staying pretty much flat up there at the top right now. He hasn't seen a real challenge yet. We'll see what happens, because everybody's starting to get loved up by the media one by one. Beto, then Kamala, oh. then Buttigieg, now Warren. Right. So we'll see uh, what that impact is. If you are Bernie Sanders, and you're looking over your shoulder at Warren, why? What are you paying attention to? Well, I think that there are a few things that I would point out that, I, that I'd be paying attention to. Um, and, and this, I think, is a rather interesting thing that's going on. Elizabeth Warren has focused her campaign right on issues. I have the policy plans. I have a policy plan for everything. And this is a Quinnipiac University poll back from April when Warren was starting to rise. rise. And what did we see? Which candidate do you think has the best policy ideas? Elizabeth Warren was getting 19% of that. Now, compared to which candidate do you think has the best chance of beating Trump, mm -hmm. Elizabeth Warren was only at 3% of that vote. So it seems... How much of that is because they think Trump ate her lunch on the lineage thing? It could very well be that, and that's something that she's obviously going to have to deal with, because right now her rise is mostly because voters are focusing on the fact that she has all these policy plans. But the fact is, if she is not able to convince them that she can beat Donald Trump, if she's not able to reach out to those moderate to conservative voters, just take again, look at this. These are the voters that she needs to win over, moderate to conservatives. And she's simply put not doing that right now. She needs to have a clear trend line, a movement up with them, because this block of voters make up about 50% of the party, and this block also makes up 50%. But if you're only rising with 50% of the party and the other 50% are flat, and Joe Biden's running away with this lane, then that's more than enough to win the nomination, especially when you have 20-plus candidates. So she can hurt Sanders more than she's hurting Biden at this point. You know what? i got to tell you, Harry. He just gave us some great perspective on what Senator Sanders was achieving in his hit with us tonight. If you think about it, what did he do? Forget about policy. Everybody's got policies. I've got a plan to beat Trump one on one, and that's what we need. That was an interesting turn for him. Maybe this poll is why. Him not giving Biden a pass when it comes to being nice to segregationists. That's exactly Maybe right. that's why. He, he wants to get in the voters' minds that, hey, Joe Biden may be this more moderate guy, but that doesn't necessarily mean he's more electable. I just want to point out one other quick, thing. Quick, quick very, very quickly, which is the attention paid to the campaign. And this is another key thing for Elizabeth Warren. What we see is those voters who are paying a lot or some attention, she's doing very, very well versus Bernie Sanders has the exact different thing going on. Those who are paying little to no attention, that's where he's doing his best. And that's a real worrisome sign for him going forward.